Hey. Hello. Hello, Mr. O'Gorman. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, uh, what can I do for you? Well, we were just passing, and we couldn't help admiring all the curios and trinkets and whatnots. And we were just thinking, what a shame it'd be if any of them got damaged. You're telling me, uh, should the wife had killed me? Sounds like a smart woman. It'd be an awful shame, for example, if a beautiful piece of glass like that ended up getting smashed. Whoops. <laughs> Guaranteed unbreakable. That's what the manufacturer said. Yeah, and are your legs unbreakable too? Yeah, because to me, they look a bit fragile and delicate. Like a flower. <laughs> well, I wish to God they were unbreakable. <laughs> I'd, I'd take off skiing. Look, let's put it this way. Wouldn't it be awful bad luck if some reprehensible types were to target this shop? Of all the shops in the streets for, say, I don't know, a break-in? Oh, I'd say it would. That would be a 36 to 1 chance. Well then, <laughs> you have to ask yourself one question, Mr O'Gorman. Are you a gambling man? Yeah. And if you are, have you any tips for the horses? What? <laughs> I've had enough of this. Oh, and you a fine young fella. D did you want some caps for your gun? <laughs> oh, good lad. <laughs> see, I couldn't see it. Oh, you want bigger caps for that. <laughs> anyway, we'll be seeing you. Think it over. Security is so important these days. Thank God that that crowd got the cameras in anyway. <coughs> we'll be back. All right, we reopen at two. They're nice young lads. 